Welcome back, this is the Amajack, and today we've got Gunslinger Nuked Suicidal. And I've realized something recently. I'm negative about, uh... Ouch. It hurts, man. I'm negative about the whole, like, uh, YouTube content production thing quite often. I talk about the frustrations that come with it, and I talk about the, um... The, the tiredness and the, the negatives, you know? I'm negative, and, uh... I don't talk about the positives enough, I don't think. Because the, the reality is, is, is as frustrating as... As, as producing all this content can be at times, I do really enjoy it, you know? It is very, very enjoyable. I love doing this. Um, you know, a lot of the content doesn't get watched because I, I make an insane amount of content. Um, a lot of the content doesn't get watched, but uh, pretty much all of my videos tend to get somewhere in the neighborhood of 1 to 5 views, some of them getting up to about 10-ish. Uh, the streams lately have been getting typically 2 to 4 viewers, which is, is amazing, you know, for... for, for um, just, uh, like, 25 days of streaming now. Um, and, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's by and large, it's, it's good stuff, right? Like, I, I see the numbers going up, and I, I see the growth coming with it, and I feel good about myself, and I feel accomplished. You know, it's, it's something that I brag about to, uh, to friends and family all the time as, as the numbers continue to rise, and as, as I, uh, as I continue to, to stick with it, despite the frustrations, and, and prove to myself that, uh, that I can do it. It's, uh, it's something that I'm immensely proud of and something that I enjoy a lot. And, uh, you know, at times it's frustrating. At times I uh, I will rant about the frustrations. Because, I mean, that's what this whole series is about to me, personally, anyway. Is uh, it's, it's, uh, it's somewhere that I can ramble about the things that are on my mind and, I mean, help me work through them to a certain extent as well. Um, and then, at times, just kind of relax and, and, you know, that, that kind of... It, it can lead to me talking about some, some negative things at times, and being negative about uh, things as well. But um, I don't want to make anybody think that I'm not loving this, that I'm not having a ton of fun with it, because I am. Um, I don't, I don't want to I don't want to mislead people into thinking that I'm, I'm forcing myself to... I mean, I am forcing myself to go through with it, but I'm like happy that I am, you know? Because uh, I do... Uh, like, even today, it's, uh, it's like 12.42 right now. I did get up at 10. <laughs> I just, I've been, uh, I mean, my mother was home and I, I sat down and chatted as best as I can, you know? I, I wrote and nodded and stuff and she talked and uh, we had, uh, you know, the conversations that I have with my family. <laughs> um, but, uh, it was, uh, sat down with her for a bit and sat down with the cat for a bit and again, it was a nice relaxing morning. I'm not leaving all of the stuff till after the stream, but. I don't really think that it's that bad to leave a couple of Yamachak tries and a Gunfire Reborn till after. I'm gonna get the KF2 stuff done ahead of time. Um, but, uh, wow, it's like a billion husks. What the heck, skis? Why are you so many husks? What? I don't, I don't like this, okay? What? It's just, they just keep sending more husks. I'll tell you what, I'm, I'm having a lot less fun on this episode. <laughs> My god. Holy. What the heck? Why so many husks? Like, bruv. <laughs> Jeez. Anyway. Um, yeah, it's, uh, I've left some stuff for, for after stream and uh, that, that does, I mean, it doesn't frustrate me now. It feels pretty good right about now, but I know that uh, later after stream when I have to record the two Yamajack tries and the Gunfire Reborn, I'm going to be like, why did I do this to myself? I should have just done it earlier. It would have been so nice to just get it over with earlier and then and then have my weekend off as soon as I'm done with the stream, but I, whatever. It, it, it's, it's fine. I'll, I'll live. Because, um, yeah, I mean, the thing is, is that I, uh, I, I love doing this, and like, even, like, I've been thinking about how I've, I've talked about how if I were to get a job, I'd have to, like, turn down the amount of stuff that I'm putting into YouTube because I just, I don't have the time to, uh, to continue investing, uh, like, all of my, like, full-time hours into YouTube. I mean, like, like, I have explained that I don't, need, I don't need that much money to survive, so I don't have to work a full-time job. I'd be able to work, like, 20 hours a week or whatever, minimum wage, and that's, that's enough for me to get by, and then I'd be able to continue investing in YouTube, and that's what I will do. If, uh, if I have to get rid of uh, this, like, full-time attempt kind of stuff to, to see if we can make it work. Because, you know, it'd be nice to, to make a living on this. It is what I love doing. Uh, 
It is it is my passion. This is the sole passion that I have in my life is uh, is content production. You know, and I'm not I'm not the greatest at it, and I'm not you know the most successful at it. But it is it is something that I love doing a lot, and uh, you know, being able to to only do this and not also have to go work at like McDonald's or something would be pretty sick. Um, but you know, uh, assuming that it doesn't work out and I have to tone stuff down a little bit, you know, like my entire thing is going to be trying to like figure out how I can tone it down the least and 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 see if I can find a place that I can work that that will work around having such a like busy schedule because I would like to continue making YouTube videos even if it's not my job because it's just something that I love so much. Um, I really, 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 really do. I love getting comments. I love seeing the views. I love seeing. Like when when I when I wake up in the morning and I check my my YouTube analytics and I and I see like the videos that have gone up and they've gotten you know likes and like a ton of views and stuff I just I feel good inside and it, it makes me feel really happy and it it makes everything all the frustrations just kind of fade away as I as I see it and I yeah uh, I get to be like yeah you know that's that's cool you know and um, I feel like I don't talk about the the good stuff enough so. I wanted, to, I wanted to to make a quick sort of um, I mean I'm still gonna ramble about it because like what else am I gonna ramble about uh, <laughs> but I, I wanted I want I wanted to talk about you guys are a problem okay I wanted to talk about the good stuff for a little bit because uh, yeah I am negative about it especially uh, lately because we had like last week was bad and I've been comparing it a little bit and uh, it's been it's been kind of like an extension of the negativity. And I just I don't want to be negative all the time, you know. I think that it's I mean it, it does it does affect your outlook if you're if you're being negative, you know. Like um no, my my new pills, you know. I was talking about them and how they're like just horribly disgusting and how can a couple of tiny little pills even possibly be that gross, you know? And part of what makes them so terribly disgusting and, and so hard to to get down is, is that I've I built them up to be so gross in my head that before I even put them in my mouth I'm already like panicked about it and uh, like that's that's kind of contributing to it so like just having a positive outlook on it and, and thinking about it is is a good part but I mean it's, it's hard to just do that you know did we just mi wow like perfectly timed clot oh my god perfectly timed everything here what the heck we're going this way because I don't know what's behind me okay <laughs> Woo! This has been a close call in this video. A lot of close calls. Um, too many husks. Um, anyway, it's been uh, it's been it's been negative recently. I want to be positive. I want to be positive because it does it does affect your outlook. It makes you have more fun. That's that's a big part of why this week has been so much better for me. Because I got my I got my time off and that helped a lot. Obviously, I got my weekend off. I didn't have to work on it at all. I got to just take a break and it was so nice. And tomorrow. Starts the weekend again. I mean, after I get all the stuff done today is when the weekend really starts. But I get to I get to go through that again, and I get to enjoy the time off and relax again, and that's gonna be nice. And I look forward to it. And then when I'm done, I feel good. You know, I feel happy and excited, and I'm like good about it. You know, and uh, then you go back to to, to work, right? And you, you have you have you have a positive attitude about it, and it makes it so much more enjoyable. Um, whereas you know, like last week, I was like, yeah, I had to work, kind of took up a lot of my time, didn't really get to enjoy my weekend that much, and I'm back to work. And it was like a negative attitude, and uh, and that's why last week sucked, and then this week I had a good attitude. And so, so making sure that you have that uh, that positive attitude is, is important because it can affect you in so many ways that, uh, you know, just, just thinking things are better than they are, <laughs> it can make them feel better, you know? Not that I'm thinking things are better than they are, I'm thinking things are great and things are great, but look, it's... Don't worry about it. <laughs> I'll tell you what I do need to get. I need to get a lighter water bottle. Because one that I have, when it's really full, it's really, really heavy. I mean, it's like... Uh, I think it's a liter of water. And then it's like... It's actually a pretty hefty... Like, um... Plastic thing. It's probably like... I don't know. On its own, without any water in it, it probably weighs about like... Three quarters of a pound. Then you fill it up with water and it's like... Mildly heavy, you know, because there's just a lot of water in it. 
and then that water lasts me like a few hours. I'm like, I don't know. I'd rather just fill it up more often than have to like pick up this this heavy thing. Because I feel like I'm going to drop it, you know? It normally has like a... Anyway, we'll, we'll, we'll hop back into Nuke. <laughs> uh, it normally has like a, uh, a little hoop thingy that I get to like hold it on. And then I get to kind of like, kind of supports it that way. But I have the, the lid off um, because otherwise you get to hear me slurping. And that's no fun. And I'm uh, picking it up, and it's like it's heavy. You have to like, have to like grip it, you know. It's that grip strength that's kind of. I mean, I don't have good grip strength. First batch of Zeds so. Get ready to it's like no to such a small problem, but it bothers me so much. Cause it's like you know, oh, you have to pick up like uh, I, don't, I don't know how much how much water how much does a you know what actually I'm pretty sure we can figure it out. How much does a liter of water weigh? Do, do, do. How much does a liter of water weigh? One liter of water has a mass of almost exactly one kilogram. Right. That that that's the whole like thing with the yeah. No, I knew that. I knew that. Um, yeah. So it weighs like probably like three pounds, maybe three and a half pounds ish at the most when it's like completely filled up with the uh, with with the you know the bottle itself which is is a pretty heavy duty thing and then um the water in it it's 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 uh reasonably reasonably heavy you know and now i'm like i mean it's, it's pretty light but i'm like i didn't want to lift the three pound thing i want to lift like a two and a half pound thing instead and uh hey it's reasonable you know it's like small differences like that that can make such a huge difference to uh to how some feels it's like uh Oh, what is it? It's, it's something. Forty-two degrees is like warm, and then forty-four degrees, like Celsius. Forty-two degrees Celsius is warm, and then like forty-four degrees Celsius is burning. Like you're actually, you will burn yourself. Like forty-two degrees Celsius, you can put your hands on it, and you'll be like, mm, "Yeah, this is pretty warm." And then forty degrees, forty-four degrees Celsius, you put your hands on it, and you're like, "Oh, that's really, really hot. That's burning me." You know, and it's just, it's that, that small difference. You, you you break the threshold, and now it's like, yep, now it sucks. You know? And I, I think my water bottle is, is just right past the threshold where it uh, it begins to suck. <laughs> so I want to get a smaller one. I mean, you know, the, the other thing is I could just fill this one less. You know, that, that's a solution, I suppose. You know, if you want to wanna be all technical about it, I, I could just fill the water bottle less. But like, look, you're gonna go to the, you're gonna go to the, the tap. You're gonna start putting water in the water bottle. You're gonna turn off the tap before your water bottle's full. Really? You're gonna do that? I don't, I don't think you are. I think you're gonna go there and you're like, uh, oh, I, I thought that was like flickering. I, I literally, I saw the stock cars and I was like, wow, my screen's breaking. <laughs> I'm like, what's wrong with my screen? Why is there all this flickering here? I shot you in the face, dude. I don't have, I don't have, oh my god, what the heck is happening? You have to go, okay, we may live through this. We may live to tell the tale. No, you have to go, okay. Uh, okay, I think, I think, I think we have survived. There is an Edar chasing me, which scares me, but. Edars I hate. Anything ranged, I hate, okay? Husks, Edars, dude. Clots, Gorefast. Stalkers, crawlers, you name it, I hate them all. Why do I even play this game? It's terrible. No, I love this game. I, uh... Yeah, no, you're, you're, you're gonna go to the tap, and you start filling it up, and you'll be like, yeah, you know, it's just a little bit too heavy when it's totally full. I'll, I'll make sure that I don't fill it up all the way. It'll be, like, almost all the way. And, and you know you're gonna just look at it and be like, do I really wanna have to come fill this up more frequently? I could just put some more water in it right now. And then you're gonna put some more water in it, and you're like... Why did I do this? Why did I do this? Who in their right mind thought that this was a good idea to do? You know, you know that's what's gonna happen. So I'm gonna get a smaller water bottle. I mean, that's what's gonna happen to me. There's no, there's no way in, uh, in heck I'm gonna be. Uh, I'm gonna be. Where are you? Ow! No way in heck I'm gonna be getting rid of uh, some of the water in the water bottle. It's just not happening. I'm not capable of that kind of responsibility. 
I do like this water bottle though. It's a nice water bottle. It's nice. I likes it. I likes it a lot. What are these? Where should we put them on? You know? Let me just. Yeah. Yeah. I never look at all this kind of stuff. There's all kinds of stuff here though. Don't really want to stay inside for too long because uh, that's just death. Blood is thicker than water. I think I had this rant before, but uh, you know the whole blood is thicker than water thing. It's, uh, it's the blood of the covenant is thicker than the water of the womb, is the the whole thing. But people use it to say that family is more important than than, not, than like friends or whatever. But it's like literally the opposite meaning. You know, I read it in like stories and, and books and manga and stuff a lot. It'll be like somebody's parents are trying to convince them to give up on uh, on their dreams or whatever. Like, blood is thicker than water. I'm like, literally has the opposite meaning, but okay. I mean, that's the other thing, is that uh, as people use it wrong, like, the meaning just kind of turns into that, right? So, I mean, it's not really the opposite meaning anymore, because uh, people have just not been using it right. So, it, it, now, it now, now, now that's what it means, you know? Like, literally doesn't literally mean literally anymore. It means figuratively. Because people just use it like that. That's that's how languages develop, man. It's how they work. It's how they do it. Words are cool, though. As bad as I am at using them, they're pretty cool. You're not shooting me. Get dusted. I feel like I feel like such a such a badass when I'm. Uh, in Zed time, and I'm just like pop, 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 pop. You know? Oh, it feels good. It feels really good when it happens. It really, really does. I love it. I love this game in general. I think they did a really good job with this game, man. I love when I get the Glock early too. I love when I get the Glock and then I remember to use it because <laughs> I don't get it often enough. You know, typically I don't have the money for it, and then I forget that I have it and I never use it. And then it comes up to the boss wave, and I'm like, "All right, I had the I had the Glock on that last one. I guess I could I could have done that." Cause the Glock's fun. I like being able to use it. Yeah, they did a good job with this game, man. It just it feels so good, you know. Like very few games give me the same like just oh, dude, dude. This is this is a major problem. Very few games give me the same feeling of, um, I don't even know what the feeling is. Just general goodness. You know? Like, I play a lot of games. I play a lot of games, as you guys probably know, um, <laughs> from all the incredible amount of content that I produce. Um, but I play uh, a lot of games, and I like a lot of games. You know? I like a lot of games. And very few of them give me the same feeling that KF2 does, of just the uh, general... I don't know, badassery, I guess. I just, I just feel good when I play it. It's like relaxing almost, calming. Makes me feel good to, to just hop in and start exploding heads and bathing in all of the gore. Look, I may, I may be a psychopath, but at least I'm a psychopath that other people get to laugh at. You know? It's also really, really hot. I forgot to open my window last night when I went to bed. Um, and so my room just got really, really hot. Because I, I close my window when I'm recording. At least, uh, well, I am going to be doing it now. Because since I've been recording, I've gotten used to, like, sitting in heat. And so it doesn't really bother me anymore, you know? Like, when we, when we first started. That's, that's yeah, well, I'll, I'll, I'll get back to that in the next episode. But that, that, that's a topic for another episode. We don't have the time for that one. You don't even know what it is. I know what it is. Anyway, um, when I first started out, uh, like, recording in the summer, you know, it was like, I just suffered. Suffered. And I complained about it a lot, because it was hot, and I hated it. And, uh, you know, right now, it's still hot. My room is still hot. Like, I have my bedroom window closed. It's been closed for a day and a half now, with, like, my computer running. I have, like, screens, Raspberry Pi, laptops, phones, you know, like, a lot of heat generation in here, and, like, zero ventilation right now literally zero because i have it uh, sealed off for 
optimal uh, sound environment, you know? And so it's 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 quite warm, but uh, it doesn't it doesn't it just it doesn't bother me anymore, cause I'm just used to it. Like I'm sweating, you know. Don't get me wrong. There there is there is sweat involved for sure. It, it's hot, but um, I'm not I'm not like uh, I'm not bothered by it. You know, I used to be like super uncomfortable, and I used to be like, yep, this just sucks. I hate having to do this. And now it's just yeah, well, whatever. It's hot. Who cares? You know, cause I'm just I'm used to it. You know, I've. Uh, I've, I've been doing it for for so long now that uh, it's just it's uh, it's normal. It's okay for it to be hot. You know, I, pr I would prefer it to be nice and comfortably warm, cool. You know, but I mean, it, it's fine. Not the end of the world, right? Not the end of the world. It's fine. <laughs> but it is quite warm because I uh, forgot to close my or open my bedroom window last night. I like to open it. At night, let my room kind of cool down, bring, you know, get rid of all that heat that's been stored up throughout the day, and then uh, close my bedroom window and kind of keep that coolness in here for a while, because uh, we are in like pretty cool weather. So if I have my window open, then it will actually be quite cold in the morning. Um, but I forgot to do that last night, and now I get to to sit here and record <laughs> throughout the day, and it's it's warm. It's warm for sure. Anyway, that's going to do it for today. Thanks for watching. Remember to like the video if you like it. Subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.